guys, we got a 2001 Volkswagen Jetta, my favorite car to work on. Right. But anyway, we have a noise that's coming up here. It looks like it's in the upper cleaner. Now there's a valve up in here. It's known by many names. It's, uh, one of them is called a shifter rod, a barrel, intake manifold changeover valve, intake manifold rotary valve. Uh, so anyway, we're going to replace this out, but before we do, I want you to hear a noise here. Uh, so if you have this kind of problem, which is a very common problem on the BR6 engines, this is a 2.8 liter engine. It's got this 12 valve version here. So. I'm going to rev the engine up, and this way you can hear it, so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, go ahead and rev it up. Now, the valve that we're talking about is right up in here, up in this assembly up here. All right, hear that, hear that rattle there? Okay, that's good. Go ahead and turn it off. So anyway, we're going to start taking the covers off, and uh, we're going to go ahead and change this here valve out. What happens is this... Uh, this here shift rod, let's call it a shift rod from here on out. This shift rod has got uh, bushings that's on here, it's two of them. And what happens is these bushings will wear. And then the bushings that fit up inside the bore of this uh, upper plenum, then with that wear in there, it gets loose and then you hear this rattling. This here usually happens around maybe around 2,000 RPM up to maybe 4,000. So anywhere in that range, you know, you can hear this noise, this rattling. And I mean, it rattles enough you can hear it inside the cabin here. So, enough talk, let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to remove these two screws to take this here cover here out. Okay, those are two Phillips screws on that. Now let's remove these two screws. These are Phillips screws also. And let's see if we can't slide this thing on out of here. Okay, this cover right here, I'm looking to remove that. So I'm going to take these here spark plug wires, lift them out of the groove there. Okay. And then we have a T30 Torx bolt right here. Go ahead and just lift him on out of there. Okay, now I want to remove this here end cover right here. We have a T30 right here, and there's one right here in the back. And let's get him a little bit. Okay, now once you get your uh, two bolts out, then just go ahead and lift this sailor on out of the way. Alright guys, at this point right now, this should be enough for us to replace this uh, valve in here. But, you're not going to hardly be able to see a lot. So, this right here, this end cap, has got to come out. There's two bolts there. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to remove the top cover on this thing. Just keep in mind you don't have to, but I'm going to do this just so you can get a better shot of what I'm doing. Also on the other end, let's go look at that side. And we're on the other end of this here valve that's inside this here upper plenum. Now, this you can see right here, this is the end of it. It's attached to a linkage to this here rotary uh, valve down here. It's vacuum actuated. If you want to kind of see how that looks, you can go back to the secondary air injection uh, video series. I show you how to check this and how to, you know, and what the purpose of it is. So anyway, you can see how it's kind of covered up, but you can still get it out. So what I'm going to do, like I said, is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove this here top cover. Okay. First thing, and I've done this before in the secondary air injection uh, video series. We're going to go ahead and we're going to get these here 
glove wires out first. Okay. Now, I'm not marking these, but make sure, you know, that you get these separated, these three in the back separated from the ones in the front. So I'm going to put those in the back over here. Alright, so those three in the back, I got tucked back over there. He's in the front. I'm gonna tuck him right over here. Okay. Alright, now at this point, we're, uh, to get this here cover off, we got four Torx bolts, T30. Right there's where two of them are at. There's the other two. So I'm gonna be taking these here four bolts out and I'll catch you in the next shot. Okay, guys, I'm working on the last bolt right here now. And we should just be able to lift the cover right on up. Alright, this end cap we're going to be taking off next. Got T30 Torx bolts. Now here's a, here's a great engineering thing. See how this, uh, this AC line, this here port, is right directly in that front of that bolt. So, they had some room here. Why didn't they bend it back up there? Oh my lord. So... So you can see, you can see how a pain in the butt this is trying to get that one bolt out. That's what it'll look like. Okay. Now, as you can see, you can get it in there, go in there sideways. All right, now we want to just uh, remove this end cap. Should be a little bushing in there, like so. Okay. All right. So right now we're looking at the end of this uh, shift rod and as you can see I would not think it should have maybe quite that much space in there but we'll find out when we get the new one in there. Okay this here shift rod is going to go out that way so now we need to work on the other end. Now, before we go down to the other end there's one more thing. Now you may be wondering why you know why don't we just leave this on since it's going out that way why don't we just take that end off and just slide it on through. And here's the reason why. You notice that this bushing actually was out about halfway. It was about like that. Now, what's going to happen is that this thing could go out. It'll go out that way. Now, this could come out with it. Now, what's going? What it, now? Can you imagine that if this thing comes out, now it's going to fall right down into a passageway. When that happens. Now you're going to start pulling this whole top of this upper plenum off here to get this here bushing out. So we're taking this off as a safety precaution to prevent that bushing from accidentally falling down inside this here passageway of one of this uh, upper plenum. Okay, these two T30 uh, bolts right here, this is what I'm going to remove next. And then just go ahead and remove this here bracket off. Okay. And there's the bolts for that. Alright guys, this is going to be hard to uh, show you this, but uh, and I'll probably be in the way, but look, this is our locking tab right here. Now, we're gonna, the idea is I'm going to take this and I'm going to push it 
down okay I'm gonna push down on that and while I push down that should release the uh, the shifter rod from this here white looking linkage here so anyway that's what I'm gonna try to do so you may not be able to see it because I'm gonna get my hands up in there but that's what I'm gonna try to do there Okay. All right. I just took a drift punch and I pushed the shifter right back up in there. Okay. I believe we can just let him just hang right there for now. Now let's take this here off. We just kind of slide him off to the side. Yeah. Let's take our shifter rod. Let's slide him on out. Okay. And there is our treasure. Okay, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video and we'll put this back together. I got another one. It's brand new. When you buy a new one, it will come with the uh, brand new OEM bushings on here. Now, if you want to replace the bushings here, like it's in this end cap here, the one we saw earlier where it was green, you will have to buy you a separate kit for that.